Many congratulations, you just put yourself in semi final place here at the World Match Play. It's not played freedom right now. This is not something, yeah. Um, at the minute, it feels like another down match, but I know what I've just done. And if I could have played better, I could have, and I would have felt happy. But to get through a tough time uh, is, is really difficult, but I am over the moon at the minute as well. You felt you were always levels above Merv today, he was only in the game because of your mistakes. Yeah, I looked, um, I think it was after the second session. I looked across to the misses and said I should be 82 up here. Yeah, I missed the two darts at 76, two darts at 19. Everything was fine before then, then it started going back to me. I'm on for about two months ago missing the doubles, but no, um, it doesn't matter if I lose 15 legs or one leg, as long as I got the W, that's all that matters. Do you feel like those middle sections were well, maybe trying to slow you up a little bit? Do you see to yeah, lose your I, rhythm? I felt that. Um, when you come back out, I shot off stage. I felt a bit weird being falling up at the start, because I'm always falling down, but. Yeah, when I come back, it felt like he was going a bit slow. He was, before he got his darts out, he was wiping his brow and he was really checking his score. But he didn't do that in the first session, but do it the game before with Max as well, he said the same in his interview. He's going to play fast, he's going to play slow, and I won't know how to handle it. And I proved the two games I've got the mental strength to handle what anyone does to me. So you've had some criticism about that, but you feel you've matured as a player and you can deal with that, things like that better now? Yeah, I think I proved it last year as well. I know I've had a, a really sting of year this year so far, but I was looking at TV events, uh, the world final of the Worlds, then quarters of the uh, Masters, semis of UK, semis here so far, and finally um, Vegas, so it's not not too bad on TV, it's just a full tournament, so I'm showing the mental strength and the ability in my game as well. Do you feel you're somewhere near that World Championship form that got you to the final? No, I have no idea. First session I was, and I was 400, that was, that was close to it, but no, I'm still I'm still adjusting to these new points because I'm still scared of my dance. When I look at I don't know what happened after the world, it's just, everything just seemed to, when I, when I got married and I went on the honeymoon, the very first time I put my dance down, even when I broke my hands, I saw my dance all every day practicing. I had them two weeks off and I come back and I felt like I'd never played again and I'm still trying to catch up now, six weeks later. But it will, it will come. When you left it after your last 16 game, mentally, were you um, preparing to play Gary? Um, yeah, I, to be fair I was, I'm not going to deny that. And I was looking forward to playing him as well because I knew we'd be all fucked to the game. But we've, we've got the job done and it was different when I go home and seen the result. And I had to prepare for Merv, then I had to prepare for um, I couldn't give him a chance. I don't know if we got a chance to check it. I had the one for when I missed the die, he checked it straight out. I missed someone else, he checked out. But then, luckily enough, he started giving me the chances then after me missing before him. And I just knew I couldn't give him a second one. Beforehand, that top half of the draw was talked about, it was stacked up, said Michael and Gary. When they depart, does the atmosphere change? Hey, you know it's when they say like Michael and Gary start, but don't forget there's another 14 players in that top part. Don't? It's not by accident we're all here. We're all here for one reason, we're all, we're all good enough to qualify. And that's what the main thing is. Michael and Gary is just, they've got three darts like I have, they've got three darts like, like Stevie Wonder played darts, he's got three darts. It's the same thing, it's just the consistency takes over and Michael's been off it on the last month. Gary's not thrown down for about six months. So it's different, but you've got you've got to think about it as well. There's another 14 players that all fancy the chances of this final. I'm just lucky enough and they won't get me away now. Semi final, James Wade or Glenn Barrett? Any preference which one? No, I'm in the semi, I've just said now I'm in the semi finals, I'm not really bothered who player. Could have been Michael, could have been you know, Vince McGarry because I was just playing him, but it could be anyone, I'm not bothered. As long as I'm here on Saturday and competing, that's the main aim. Michael, many congratulations. Thank you, mate. Thank Cheers. Thank you very much. You talk us through that lady for the 29 darts and the 27 darts. What was going on up there? I ain't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> My doubles were pretty good, and then that leg, I just knew it was an important leg. And he missed, and I thought, right, check it now. And then I thought, he's not going to miss again. And he did. And then I thought, you got to take it. And I missed. And then he missed, and just back and forth. But I think in the end, I'm, I'm kind of glad he took it, because he got me annoyed, and he had to dig deep for the next leg. And I think the first nine darts hit five with the first three, and then I'm switched to the side of the treble. But that's how darts goes. And then one day you love it, the next day you hit it again. I mean, obviously, you talk about that, if you had the double top break into the double break at 14, 11 as well, did you think at that point, did you know what, I finally cracked him and it was game over? Yeah, and I just knew when I was 8, 7 down, and I knew if I come back out, I could win the session 3, 2, so I think it was my darts, then I come back in at 10, 0 with Sam. I won my first leg and I broke and thought, right, come on, keep holding it. If you can hold your floor and try breaking again, but you got two legs, and I went in at 11, 9, I think. I knew then, just keep holding my floor, and I will get that chance of breaking. I had it, blew it, 
but then at least they got another chance and uh, made sure they took that home. No, I don't mind days off. I don't mind playing every day. I think the World Champs, I played the first game and then I was off for uh, five, six days and then I played every single session. I don't really mind the breaks. The breaks are nice. I get to spend the time and chill out, watch everyone else going through the pain I've just done the night before. No, so no preference whatsoever. Good luck. Thank you, mate. Cheers, Tom. Michael, when you have a leg like you do in the 23rd, is it a case of putting it to the back of your mind and trying to forget it? I tried to, and I kept thinking, all I kept thinking about was the the legs before the 76 and the 90, the two darts. Uh, luckily enough, that one with 100 darts missed at double, took my mind off them two. And then finally, the, when I got me all the floor, I just knew everything had gone then. Back to scratch, it's a best of five game. Just make sure you win it 3 2. And we all know how hot it's been today. What would you yeah. like to put on the stage? Um, it wasn't too bad until I started losing. Then I was looking around for excuses. <laughs> and that's your first excuse you got. Oh, it's too hot. I'm sure it's sticking to me. But no, it, it is hot until you start thinking about it. And the guys out now do want to wear the feel it. But you have to, like you say, with the legs when you miss all the way, you just got to put it back in your mind. And you just got to realise you've only got one job and one job to do, and that's to win the match. No, you're welcome, mate. Congratulations, Michael. Um, obviously, you've come so close to winning major tournaments before. Will those experiences help you? I hope so. <laughs> I definitely hope so, but um, I've still got to win. I've still got a semi final match. And I've got to see what happens there. If, uh, if I'm lucky enough to win the game, return up, then you can ask me that question again on Sunday before we play. Um, you've been obviously looking on the door for a while, even though you're still young. Do you feel that pressure to get one on your belt sooner than later? Like there's, there's no pressure. Phil was 34, I think, when he won his first one. There's no pressure. I'm not, I've been, I think I've been in the PDC for about 10 years now. So I come straight from school. So there's no pressure. It's just about just doing my job, really. Instead of doing the massive jumps, I've took baby steps every year. I've never gone backwards. I've always gone forwards. So as long as I keep progressing like that, one will come, definitely. So, you, so you're not concerned about there's some players obviously who've gone their whole career without one, even though they've you know, they've talented. Oh, because I never get one. I'm, there's nothing in my mind saying that I'll never get one. There's always the I, I will get it, and when I get one, it's like football, the floodgates are open. Um, obviously, you're not going to be playing BG, but the way he was playing, did you kind of want him to get through and, and play with you, fancy your chances? And I would have, I think I would have rather Michael get through because in the past I've shown when when a draw does open up for me I start to struggle then I start to think ahead instead of thinking what's just in front of me but I got a job done there I would have liked to play Michael because I, I would have liked to have been the one to knock him out of this tournament but he, he's not here so I've got a, a different job now I've got to play Wade or Durant. Do you expect him to come bouncing back? Yeah I, te I text him straight after the game I said listen you've got a uh, couple of weeks now in Australia just make sure you've got time, just make sure you practice, don't, don't be lazy. I'm gutted because I'll be fishing, but I just said don't be lazy and make sure you get on the board and come back even better in September because I want to be the one to keep eating instead of everyone else. Thank you mate, cheers.